because I've got the people behind me now. Before I used to let myself down and only myself, whereas now I feel like I let everyone down that supports me, you know. Um, I'm in a very fortunate position and, uh, you know, I play a little game with myself. Sometimes I like to come in bad shape to make the fights like that. I, um, I get a thrill out of them kind of fights. You know, um, you give him the opportunity and I'm not, you know, I don't mean to sound like an arsehole, but I'm just being honest with you. And he fucked it up. You know, he was poor. He didn't put punches together, combinations together. He didn't really look fit. He was in town today, going to meet people in the pubs on social media. You don't do that if you want to be a champion. You know what I mean? It's all it's funny, and it, the, re, the reception he got was amazing. But if you want to be taken seriously, you've got to be professional, and you've got to behave like a champion if you want to be a champion. Well, 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 I've been waiting for this ever since that horrendous display last night from the one and only David Allen, the White Rhino, the Doncaster De La Hoya, Papi De La Pay-Per-View, <laughs> stealing a living yet again with the same old excuses. I wasn't fit. I didn't train for this fight, but what does he do? He brings in the numbers, he gets the views, he's full of banter, and people love his rawness. Adam Spin Dr. Smith loves the Dave Allen story, doesn't he? Because he's raw. He's got all these things about him. It's an absolute joke. Yet again, he's got another pay-per-view slot. These pay-per-view slots, that should be earned. Fighters deserve to get on pay-per-view in good fights. This is Dave Allen. Never won a belt. Never won a belt. He's had two. He had a huge opportunity on a pay per view card against Lenroy Thomas. Who the fuck is Lenroy Thomas? They've plucked him from somewhere in Jamaica or wherever he's from to fight him for the Commonwealth belt. He then doesn't train. He comes in fat as a pig and bottles it and gets beat. He then gets the rematch. He gets cut. Not his fault. That's boxing. Things happens. I'm going to do it properly. I'm not going to be bullied into taking fights. Where does he end up next? In France with a beret on. Boxing Tony Oka out of shape again after turning down big money to fight Daniel Dubois. He gets battered against Yoka, takes the shots. His head, the only form of defence. <laughs> then gets another shot against Nick Webb. He's and he gets the KO. He was losing. He was losing the fight. He wasn't doing anything differently. He threw a shot a week before the fight started and it hit Nick Webb on the chin because he couldn't <laughs> get out of the way. We then get, he's this big hitter. Watch out, guys. Dave Allen, he's got... <laughs> he's going to people out. He then gets Sammy Nebo, the 10-2 and two dangerous giant. Absolute moron. He was horrendous as well. Refused sparring against Hubie Fury. Refused sparring against that kickboxer that trains with the Furies because he was no good. He turned up, he did two rounds, they went, here's money for your taxi, go home, you're not good enough. Back to Germany you go. He then gets another opportunity against Ariel Esteban Bracamento, number three heavyweight in Argentina. I dread to think where he is in the world. And yet again, coming in out of shape, buzzing because he's drinking iron brew after the fight and puts in another horrendous display. He comes out with the same stuff. Yeah, I'm not training. I know I need to improve. I know I need to do this. Well, do something about it then. Instead of conning people like you actually care and putting on this act. He's a cartoon character coming in and carry, boxing in carry more trainers. Bullshit. Why would you do something like that in one of the biggest fights of your life? Carry more trainers. Get some boxing boots. What he needs to do, he needs to sort himself out and take this seriously. Otherwise, he will end up seriously hurt. You cannot repeatedly take punches like this and come in out of shape. We've seen what's happened when he stepped up. Tony Oker, he was a punch bag. Who else? Dillian White, he went 10 rounds with him, just took shots. And who else? Lewis Ortiz, he took that fight as well. Eddie Earn should be ashamed for that, by the way. Putting in a, buddy, mm. a central area level fighter with Lewis Ortiz, and it was a seven round beatdown. Yep. Mm. Because they took the fights, the fans love him. He's perfect. Well, that, that, was, that is what he said last night. He basically went, I can take a shot. I was absolutely knackered. I let the guy punch himself out, hit my head numerous times, and then I took him out. I think, 
if you're against anybody half decent, you will get annihilated doing stuff like that. But the spin doctor, Adam Smith, he loves the sob stories from Dave Allen, and he loves the rhinoettes who follow him all around, <laughs> taking selfies with him. They absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to read this out. Just watch the fight back. I got all the moves, and I'm strong and got bottle. I'm not really missing much from being a really decent heavyweight. I make no promises. Let's see where the next 12 months take us. Whatever happens will be fun. I guarantee absolutely nothing changes. He'll rock up on a couple more pay-per-views because he does the numbers. He's got the banter. He'll come out out of shape again and we'll hear the same old story about how it's, it's his fault, that he's not training. It's not his trainer's fault. He's the one who needs to get in shape. He needs to do this. He needs to do that. Prove us wrong and actually do something. If you get yourself in shape and then you come out and then you come unstuck for a British title or a Commonwealth belt, fine. But at least you've done the right things. Don't go in and say you've not trained. It came out. He hadn't trained. He hadn't sparred a round for this fight. Not one round. Why is this being sanctioned? Why? This is an unfit fighter going into a ring. Why is this happening? Because... Yeah. We're, we're all about safety and things like that. Let's be brutally honest. People die in this ring. Now, why is this being sanctioned? If he's admitting to not doing any training whatsoever, nothing. He says, right, I can't spar. I can't do anything. I've had six fights this year. If that phone, if that phone rings for a pay-per-view fight against Tom Little on the Dillian White, Derek Chisora on the card, you're telling me he's not going to be there despite being unfit, out of shape. He clearly needs a rest. I guarantee for a fact he'd end up there mm -hmm. because he can't say no. And the people around him need to take control of his career. I think he sounds a bit punch drunk already, to be honest. I'm being but brutally honest. I think he sounds concussed. a bit punch drunk already and it's only going to get worse. He was concussed last night. Another thing I was going to say is, mm -hmm. I think that Nick Webb fight, it was, I don't think it was a final eliminator, but it was meant to be a British title eliminator. It was. And fuck knows how. That's an absolute joke. Look, look who we've got, though. Imagine what? Nathan Gorman. Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, Huey Fury would all do to him. Mm -hmm. I'll, right. I'll tell you what, I'll go as far. Sorry, I'll end it on this. Mm -hmm. I would take Camille Sokolowski over 10 rounds to beat Dave Allen. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm being deadly serious. 